You are always on the cutting edge of technology? You want the latest features on the market and have been following the topic of home storage for a long time? Sounds like you're ready for the new single-phase hybrid from SunGrow, unique in its fast installation. Before starting the installation, please read the safety instructions in our manual. You need a suitable place for the inverter. This means it should be a room where no flammable materials or gases are stored. The wall must be fireproof and able to bear the weight of 40 kg. All screws and plugs required for the installation are already included in the delivery. You only need your own tools and cables. And off we go! Luckily you don't need a spirit level. SunGrow has it integrated in the mounting plate. Before you start drilling, you should make sure that there are no wires running through the wall that you could damage. Take your drill with the 10mm drill bit and drill at least 70mm deep into the wall at the marked points. The dowels for mounting the inverter on the wall are included in the delivery. You will also need a cordless screwdriver for attaching the mounting plate. The required screws are part of the delivery. For the lift-out protection, you need a cross screwdriver to fix the two M4 fixing screws and washers. Before the inverter can be connected, the AC home circuit breaker must be disconnected, the cables must be de-energized and in perfect condition. Before installation, make sure by measuring that the cables are really voltage-free. You will find all cable requirements and wire sizes in our manual. Furthermore, you have to set the DC switch at the bottom of the inverter to OFF. Now let's continue with the installation. In the first step you have to connect the inverter to ground. There are two PE connections at the bottom of the inverter. The one below the backup port will be connected to the grounding of the backup loads. The other one will be connected to the grounding of the battery. Make sure that the chassis of the inverter, the backup load PE and the grid side PE are all connected to the same grounding point. If the grounding connection isn't done properly, it may affect the backup function. Now let's connect the AC plug. Remove approximately 4 to 5 cm of the cable sheath of the AC cable. Then, strip approximately 2 to 3 mm of the inner cables. Add cable terminals and heat shrinks to the AC cables. Because of our handy plugs, you don't have to open the inverter for installation. Simply pull the cables through the individual components of the plug and fix them with the included screws. Push the connector until you hear a click and fix it with an M4 screw. Last but not least, you have to tighten the fasteners. Now let's take a look at the DC connector. After stripping the insulation, you have to attach a crimp contact. For this, you have to check the polarity because each pole has different terminals that need to be crimped. The polarity is marked on the inverter. Then push the cable into the insulating sleeve until it snaps into place. Screw it and that's it! Check again that the polarity corresponds to the imprint. The finished plugs only fit to the appropriate connections. In the next step, we will install the backup plug. Remove approximately 4 to 5 cm of the cable sheath of the cable. Then strip approximately 12 to 15 mm of the inner cables. Pull the cables through the individual components and fix them with three simple clicks, completely screw-free. Make sure that all cables are fixed to the respective terminals. When all cables are in place, push the terminal strip into the housing of the plug. When you hear a click, the terminal strip is properly engaged. Last but not least, you have to tighten the fasteners. Connect it to the inverter and fix it with an M4 screw. That's it! Quick and easy! To connect the single-phase hybrid to the SunGrow battery, you have to use SunClix connectors. Pay attention to the correct polarity it is marked on the inverter. First, insert the cable until resistance is felt. Now the cable is fixed to the connector by pushing down the spring. A clear click can be heard when it clicks into place. Tighten the plug, plug it in, that's it! Now only the communication plug is missing. 
The smart meter, the battery and the heat pump, for example, are controlled via the communication interfaces. The SunGrow battery can be connected via Ethernet cable. Simply pull the cable through the connector and plug it into the lower of the two Ethernet plugs. Plug the cable on the other side to the SunGrow battery communication connector. That's it. Done. You can also connect the battery via the communication port. Remove approximately 4 to 5 centimeters of the cable sheath of the communication cables. Then strip approximately 5 to 7 millimeters of the inner cables. If necessary, you may have to fit the cables with end sleeves before you push them into the plug. The SunGrow battery is connected to the CAN interface. You may find a detailed installation video for our battery on our YouTube channel. The BYD battery is connected to the same ports. If you want to add a heat pump to the system, you also have to connect it via the communication port. Connect the cable to the interfaces COM and O. In the next step, let's have a look at the smart energy meter. RS485A has to be connected to port A2 and RS485B to port B2. Plug everything together and fix it with an M4 screw. Now, let's connect the smart energy meter itself. Mount the meter on a DIN rail and connect the communication cable RS485A to pin 2 and RS485B to pin 5 on the meter. The meter must be supplied with 230 volts. Connect the line cable to pin 3 and the neutral cable to pin 6. The CT of the meter must be clipped around the house line cable. It is essential that the CT is connected at the house grid connection point so that the whole house is behind the meter, including the backup load. Pay attention to the orientation with clipping the CT. The little arrow has to indicate the direction from grid to house load. For commissioning, you have to connect the new Ynet module. It combines Ethernet and Wi-Fi in one port and is part of the delivery scope. If you want to use Ethernet, simply unscrew the swivel nut from the Ynet S and thread the network cable through it. Insert the RJ45 plug into the plug connector until you hear a click. Screw everything together and plug the device in. If you want to use Wi-Fi, it's even easier. Simply connect the module to the inverter. That's it. The installation is done. Now it's time for commissioning. First, you have to switch on the AC circuit breaker. Next, you have to set the DC switch of the inverter to the on position to connect the inverter to the PV generator. A look at the LED light tells you if everything works properly. If the light shines continuously blue, the inverter is ready for use. If this is not the case, please refer to the manual where you will find a breakdown of the different light signals. When connected, the Ynet module takes some minutes to fully boot. To finalize the setup, you need to download the iSolar Cloud app. You may find a detailed commissioning video on our YouTube channel.